You don't gotta put your cup down. Hold on. Drink freely. Holla at me. All right, people, so we're taking a momentary break from the preseason preview series. Don't worry, I'm going to get all 30 teams before the start of the season. But ESPN finally fully released their top 100 NBA players going into this season. So now that the full 100 is out, I think it's a good idea to react to it. Now, I'm not going to not gonna lie to y'all. I do know, like, Zion is somewhere crazy in, like, the top 30 or top 25 or something. Um, Because I've seen Instagram posts about it, so... Um, but without further ado, let's react to this top 100. I think I have to go to the first article. ESPN Plus to view a top 100? Really? Is it really that serious? Oh, hang on. So it seems that I have forgotten my password. Monthly plan. Because I'm going to cancel this shit after I do this. All right, congratulations, ESPN. You hooked me. You got $6 out of me. Are you happy? Don't want fucking UFC 256. So we're going to go through this first 50 player list pretty quickly because obviously you guys probably aren't really here for that. They're not as relevant as the latter 50. But number 100 is Joe Harris. I wish they had some honorable mentions so I would know who they have Joe Harris above. But um, I guess we'll just keep moving through this kind of quickly. Um, they dropped him from 89 to 100. Interesting. Marcus Morris Sr. above Joe Harris. Yeah, Morris Sr. can shot create a bit more. A bit more of a impactful defender Otto Porter Jr. probably a more reliable 3 and D player than the latter two Derek White I'd have him above okay Marcus Gasol is pretty low he probably dropped yeah from 61 to 96 LaMarcus Aldridge at 95 wow that's wild he dropped more he dropped 50 plus spots he dropped 54 spots in the matter of a season interesting um jared allen over lamarcus aldridge jared allen is a much better defender um but aldridge can space the floor and create offense for himself so i would give aldridge the advantage there rubio rubio or aldridge um rubio a better defender obviously perimeter um better playmaker not as good of a shot creator. It could go either way between those two. Mitchell Robinson, 92. Uh, same case with Jared Allen. I think Aldridge is more impactful. Obviously not on defense, but offensively much more impactful. Um, LaMarcus Aldridge is. Seth Curry at 91. Sniper. Pat Bev at 90. I'd probably rather have LaMarcus Aldridge than Pat Bev, to be honest. A stretch center that can create offense from time to time. Obviously a bit of a defensive liability, but... Joe Ingles, yeah, Joe Ingles is a bit slept on. I'd rather have Joe Ingles than everybody but for him. Jeremy Grant at 89, Buddy Hill at 87. Yeah, I, I can see that. Uh, Brooke Lopez at 86. Modern day center, uh, the perfect center, especially next to somebody like Giannis. Gallinari at 85, okay. Collins at 84, I feel like he is a bit low. He dropped from 47? Yeah, what? From 47 to 84? He didn't even have a bad year. Okay, we'll just see who else is ahead of him. DeJounte Murray, my guy. This is who I play like in real life. DeMar DeRose. Okay, they're hating on all the Spurs. Damn, DeMar at 82. Wow, DeMar at 82. Not a defensive liability. He's pretty average defensively. Can't space the floor. Playing in the wrong era. Uh, I don't know. That's weird to have DeMar DeRozan at 82. John Wall, 81. Josh Richardson, a better player than DeMar DeRozan. Really? Dennis Schroeder. Maybe you can make an argument. Aaron Gordon. Multi-positional defender that you would hope can space the floor and hit an open shot because he could not hit open threes this year. Athletic finisher. Um, KCP is better than DeMar DeRozan, apparently. Montrezl Harrell at 76. Duncan Robinson is a better player than DeMar DeRozan, apparently. Miles Turner, a stretch, defense, a stretch rim protecting center. Better than DeMar DeRozan, apparently. Bojan Bogdanovic, I could see Bojan Bogdanovic being better than DeMar DeRozan. PJ Tucker is not fucking better than DeMar DeRozan. Alright, come on, stop the cap. Mike Conley, I guess. Um, Steven Adams, I guess. Um, D'Angelo Russell, yeah, 
OG Ananobi, maybe, uh, especially because he's getting better. Eric Bledsoe, probably because of his defense, and he's still able to get about 15 points per game and a decent playmaker, so I could see that. Serge Ibaka is better than DeMar DeRozan. It's just so weird to say these names being better than DeMar DeRozan. Obviously, they're hitting on the fact that he can't space the floor in NBA in the NBA in 2020, and he's not a great defender, doesn't have much versatility on defense, but I don't know, man. Blake Griffin, we'll have to see what he does this year. Um, Kevin Love. Kevin Love is kind of just... A floor spacing power forward that can rebound. He's never been a great defender. He doesn't really post up that much. He's kind of lost. I mean, he just doesn't get that many post up touches anymore. I don't know if he's better than DeMar DeRozan. Maybe he's a bit more valuable. <sighs> Maybe I should have read their criteria for it. TJ Warren, I guess if we're basing it off Bubble Warren. Bogdan Bogdanovich, maybe. Davis Bertans is not a better player than DeMar DeRozan. You have to value shot creation and handling the ball to some extent. <laughs> like, not everybody is going to be a 3 and D player like that just catches and shoots and plays hard in defense. You have to have people, and you have to value people that can create offense for themselves, and DeMar DeRozan is that. But ESPN doesn't want to value that, apparently. Robert Covington is better than DeMar DeRozan, apparently. Tyler Hero. Ooh. Okay. Tyler Hero... Tyler, I feel like it's a bit too early to say he's better than all these names. I guess, uh, like, D'Angelo Russell's up here, too. I haven't even, like, really touched on that. At 69, I'd probably have D'Lo over everybody down here just because of his playmaking ability um, and his shot-creating ability. Yeah, I'd have D'Lo. I'd have D'Lo a bit higher, DeRozan a bit higher, Dragic at 58. That's solid. Tobias Harris at 57. How is Tobias Harris so much of a better player than DeMar DeRozan? Tobias Harris is a worse defender than DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan is a better shot creator. He's a better he's better at finishing at the rim because he's more athletic, more prolific at finishing above the rim. He's a better playmaker than Tobias Harris. Tobias, the only thing Tobias Harris has over DeRozan is shooting. That does not warrant him being, what, 30 spots? higher than DeMar DeRozan, that's kind of fucking ridiculous. Zach Levine, 56. Christian Wood, 55. I've, I've had... Yeah, they're hating on Levine again. They're hating on Levine again. He should be in the top 50. Um, Lonzo Ball is not better than Zach Levine. He's just not. He's just not. Levine was almost an all-star this year. Lonzo Ball is not better than Zach Levine. And I'm a Lonzo Ball fan. Because I'm... When I play in real life, I am a defensive-minded playmaking point guard that has a inconsistent three-point shot literally Lonzo Ball so for me to be saying Zach Levine is better than Lonzo Ball there's no bias there because I've, I fuck with Lonzo Ball Nurkic at 53 I feel like he's somebody that should be a bit higher oh come on Nurkic is better than DeAndre Ayton right now Nurkic is, a, is way more reliable on defense um, he's a better playmaker I'd have Nurkic over Ayton MPJ already at 51? How is MPJ already at 51? He has, he's a defensive liability. The Jazz and Clippers were picking on him on defense. He's more of a defensive liability than DeRozan. He's not yet a better shot creator than, than DeRozan. Ah, man. I don't know why this DeRozan being, what was he at? What, like 85? Let me see what they, let me just re read their description for it. They don't even they don't even explain why he's so low. <laughs> let me just let me read how they preface this entire ranking system. We are ranking the top NBA players for the tenth year. Which player will be better? They don't even really explain it. So, my major qualms with this first fifty players: Demar Derozan is way too low. Um, I think the same for Lamarcus Aldridge. I think the same for John Collins. I think he should be a bit higher. KCP is way too fucking high. And I'm a Laker fan and I'm saying this, dude. How is KCP a better player than DeMar DeRozan? What? Okay, I, I just got to move through this pretty quickly because I'm getting hung up on the first 50 players. 
Uh, let's go to the next, what, 40? We don't want to scroll down too far because we want to see... Oh my god, I scrolled down too far. And Jokic is at number 10. Okay, whatever. Um, that's not, like, surprising or anything, but... Alright, 50 to 11. Number 50, DeMontis Sabonis. Um, okay. Spencer Dinwiddie, better player than DeMontis Sabonis. Eh, debatable. Kimball Walker at 48. He's pretty low. He probably dropped off. Oh, he was 17 last year and he went to 48. Yeah, Kimball Walker wasn't the same point guard that he was in Charlotte. He kind of struggled with efficiency and he wasn't the number one guy. So I guess I could see the drop off. 48 is a bit low. Victor Oladipo at 47. Can we really say that after he basically didn't play the entire regular season? Um, Karis LeVert at 46. Karis LeVert's a better player than Kimball Walker. That's a bit much. Gordon Hayward is a better player than Kemba Walker. I know Kemba Walker is somewhat of a defensive liability. Ah man, I don't I just don't know about that one. Draymond Green is a better player than Kemba Walker. Based off of what Draymond Green did last season, what nine, six and six, typical Draymond Green like counting number stats, but his efficiency was horrible. That's ooh man. ESPN, yo. Okay, Jaron Jackson Jr., 43. I could see Jaron Jackson Jr. over Draymond. I could see it over Kemba because of the two-way ability of Jaron. Um, a power forward that's athletic as hell, can finish above the rim. One of the best shooting bigs in the league and one of the best young defenders in the league. He's probably going to win a couple of Defensive Player of the Year awards. Well, I'm not going to go that far, but he'll be a part of a lot of all-defense teams. When his time is done, Nikola Vucevic. How is Vucevic a better player than Kemba Walker? Vucevic, I think Vucevic and Kemba Walker are comparable on defense. Kemba Walker is a better player on offense, a better playmaker. So I don't really know how he's better than Kemba Walker. I'd honestly rather have Jaron Jackson Jr. than Nikola Vucevic. Porzingis has 41. Um, he dropped off. Then Fleet at 40. Brogdon at 39, Shea at 38, I think this is a good spot for Shea. Um, Marcus Smart at 37. So Marcus Smart is a better player than Kemba Walker. He's a better player than Fred Van Fleet. He's a better player than Malcolm Brogdon. Better player than... <sighs> Marcus Smart is not better than Kristaps Porzingis. I'm sorry, Boston Celtics fans. That's just... No. Like, I know Marcus Smart is one of those guys who does all the little things and his box score can't entirely reflect his impact on the basketball court, but Marcus Smart is not a better player. Oh, man. Let's just move on. Russell Westbrook at 36. Okay, this is probably going to cause a lot of controversy, especially for Russell Westbrook stands. Middleton at 35. Swipe at 34. Okay, Swipa better than Russell Westbrook. Swipa better than Russell Westbrook. That's a bit interesting. Um, Drew Holiday. Yeah, Drew Holiday deserves some love. Jalen Brown. Okay, I can see that. Two-way uh, two uh, wing player. Elite on both ends. Not elite on both ends, but great on both ends. John Moran at 31. Okay. So we're already saying De'Aaron Fox and John Morant are better than Russell Westbrook. Interesting. That's a bit interesting, if you ask me. Um, but okay, let's just keep it moving. Uh, we gotta. I don't want this video to be too long. Kyle Lowry at 30. I, you can argue Kyle Lowry is better than Russell Westbrook based off of their performances last season. Bro, Russell Westbrook put up 26 a game. And then especially in the second half of the season after the Capella trade, he was putting up around 30. I know he's not a shooter. I know he's not somebody. I know he's a floor spacing uh, clog. But like, okay, we're just going to keep moving on. I think Kyle Lowry, you can argue, is over Russell Westbrook. Trey Young at 29. Yeah, um, you can argue, I guess, he's better than Russell Westbrook. I guess. I mean, sure. Brandon Ingram at 28. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I could see it, yeah. Okay, McCollum's way too... McCollum is way too high. McCollum is way too high. He should be in the 40s. How is CJ McCollum... What? 15 spots better than Kemba Walker? Oh, more than 15 spots. 
Oh my god. He's this. He's 20 spots better than Kemba Walker. CJ McCollum? CJ McCollum. Oh man. Okay. Sorry, CJ McCollum. You're a cool player. You're a good number two option. Wait, he was ranked 13 last year. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me read the description for this one. Don't overlook McCollum as one of the league's best closers. He slammed the door on the Nuggets in Game 7 two, sing two seasons ago with a flurry of mid-range mastery and did it again to beat the Grizzlies in the play-in last summer. McCollum understands his role, and he but he also has a knack of rising to the occasion. Wait, was he really ranked at 13 last year? McCollum is more is equally a defensive liability to Kemba Walker, but Kemba Walker, I would say, is a better scorer, and Kemba Walker is a better playmaker. Okay, let's just go down the line. Ingram is better than McCollum. Trey Young is better than Trey Young is a way better scorer. He's a way better playmaker, and McCollum is a slightly better defender. How Lowry is better than McCollum. Jaw is better than McCollum. Jalen Brown's better than McCollum. Drew Holiday is better than McCollum. De'Aaron Fox is better than McCollum. Middleton, Brody. Mm, I'd probably take CJ McCollum over Market Smart. Um, Shea. You could argue between Shea and CJ. Um, you can argue between Malcolm Brogdon and CJ. Fred and Lee and CJ. Kristaps is better than CJ McCollum. He provides so much of an impact on defense. Like he's a 7 3 rim protecting behemoth. Oh my goodness. Jaren's better. I'd rather have Jaren Jackson than McCollum. I'd rather have CJ McCollum than Draymond Green. I'd rather have Gordon Hayward than CJ McCollum. Karis LeVert, you could argue. I'd rather have Victor Oladipo. Uh, that's, that's a hard one to really decipher based off of his health. Um, I'd rather have Kemba Walker than McCollum. And maybe even Sabonis. Yes, yeah, CJ McCollum should be in the 40s. This this is really blasphemous, and this is not supposed to be really hating on anybody, any one player. But um, CJ McCollum was way too goddamn high. Rudy at 26. I guess he just wasn't as impactful defensively this year. Uh, Kyrie at 25. Ooh, that's a bit low. This is gonna upset Kyrie stands. Um, Pascal better player than Kyrie Irving. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I guess it's a debate. Carl Anthony Towns. Kyrie's Kyrie's too low. Kyrie's too low. This is a bit disrespectful. Gonna be honest. <laughs> Gonna be honest. Uh, Bradley Beal is not better than Kyrie Irving. I'm sorry. Jamal Murray is not better than Kyrie Irving. Paul George, you can argue, even with his pandemic P of a playoff run. Zion at 19. This is the one, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one. Williamson was very good last season in 24 games of work, showing historic levels of efficiency when he was on the court. This season, the Pelicans envisioned Williamson into more of a slashing and playmaking role, which could unlock what Pelicans exec VP of basketball operations, David Griffin, calls the real Zion. Zion is... Man. Zion is 19. I'd... Boom. I'd rather have PG over Zion because Zion is a fucking defensive liability based off of what we've seen. He cannot guard in the pick and roll at all and he cannot guard in the perimeter at all. Jamal Murray or Zion, you can argue that. Beal or Zion, I guess you can argue that. Towns or Zion, I'd give it to Towns right now. Pascal or Zion, I'd probably give it to Pascal right now just because Pascal is a great defender. Kyrie or Zion, Kyrie is... Kyrie has more in his offensive bag than Zion, and right now they're equally uh, not greatly, equally not as impactful on defense, if that makes any sense. I'll probably take Zion over Rudy Gobert. I'll take Zion over CJ. I'll take Brandon Ingram over Zion. Trey versus Zion, I guess you could argue that one. Kyle Lowry. If I'm trying to win a championship, Zion or Kyle Lowry, I'll probably take Kyle Lowry. Um. Jar Zion, I guess you can argue that one. I'll take Jalen Brown right now instead of Zion. Yeah, I think Zion's a bit too high. But I mean, this is ESPN. Um, this is what they do. They clickbait, and they are <laughs> they are reaching the hell on Z they are reaching hella on Zion. I mean, I expect nothing less though. This is ESPN we're talking about. Donovan at 18. Donovan already better than Kyrie Irving. Um. Um, yeah, I think they're hating on Kyrie, especially after he said he's not going to talk to the media. Booker at 17. 
I can get behind that. Ah, uh, I don't know if Booker's better than Kyrie though. Um, ben Simmons at 16. For all the slander that Ben Simmons gets because he can't shoot a three, Ben Simmons is going to be one of the best defenders in the league. And he still gets 18 points per game efficiently and still can facilitate very well. So I guess I could see 16. Um, I guess I can see it. I'm not really that mad about that one. Who's next? Who's next? Tatum? Just guessing. Chris Paul at 15. Interesting. Uh, Chris Paul puts up numbers and a lot of what he provides can't be measured in the box score. But based off, based off of last season, I would give him that just out of respect for Chris Paul. Joel Embiid at 14. Um, yeah. Oh, I, ooh, Bam Adebayo already better than Joel Embiid. Interesting one, interesting one. Bam Adebayo already better than Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is a better inside defender just because he's more of a threat in terms of blocking shots and he's a bigger body. Um, he's average in terms of guarding switches bam Adebayo is a great inside defender and he is a good perimeter defender because of his quickness he's one of the best uh centers at switching on the pick and roll um and his offensive game his playmaking is really what bolsters his offensive value he's not as much of a shot creator as joel Embiid. joel Embiid spaces the floor a bit better than bam Adebayo. so i I know Bam Adebayo was really great this year, most improved player candidate, but I think I'm going to give the advantage to Joel Embiid over Bam Adebayo, just, just the track record, honestly. Yeah, um, but Bam Adebayo should be in the top 25 definitively. Uh, who's next? Jimmy Butler, number 12. Jimmy Butler did a lot to improve his standing this year, um, deservedly so. I could get behind this. I can get behind this, especially after that finals effort. Jason Tatum, 11. I think right now I would just give it to Jimmy Butler over Jason Tatum. Just swap those two. Yeah, I think I would. I would swap those two. Jason Tatum is a bit more skilled offensively. Butler is better defensively. Butler is a better playmaker, so I would give the advantage to Jimmy Butler. Now we get into the top 10. Okay. So we already know Jokic is at number 10. That's my guy, Joker. Who's next? Uh, James Harden, 9. Okay. this is. I think this is the lowest James Harden has come in or come at in one of these in a while. Um, yeah, he was at 4 last season. Stephen Curry at 8. Um, this is similar to Harden. This is like the lowest Curry's been in one of these in a while. Mainly this is because of the injury, though. Um, Dame at 7. Ooh, this one is going to... This one is going to rub Curry fans the wrong way. Dame being over Curry. Um, but hey, Dame proved it last year. You got to give him his respect. Uh, number six is Kevin Durant. Um, number five, Kawhi. Number four, Luka. Luka better than Kawhi. I can't get behind that just because Kawhi is still an elite level defender. Um, Luka's a better. Luka's probably a better scorer. Um, he's a way better playmaker. I'll say Luka is a slightly better scorer. He's a better playmaker. But Kawhi is a way better defender. So I would give Kawhi the advantage here. I guess you, you can argue Luka over Kevin Durant just because of the injury. Same goes with Curry. And you can argue Luka over Dame as well. But I would definitely say Kawhi is over Luka though. Um, Giannis number three. Oh, so both Lakers are number two. Both Lakers are number two. Watch well, should be AD at number one. Ah, they got AD at number two. And then LeBron, number one. Okay. There wasn't much controversy in the top ten for me, besides Luka being over Kawhi. But most of the other controversy came in, like, the 30s and 40s with kind of the, dis the disrespect on Kemba Walker's name, the disrespect on... Um, Kyrie's name, Russell Westbrook's name, and the major disrespect on DeMar DeRozan's name. But hey, like I said, this is what ESPN does. <laughs> they make these clickbaity ass rankings to get people to talk about them, to get people to view them, to get this ad revenue right here, and to um, basically get people to buy their product. And I guess it worked on me because I've worked over the $6 for this month.